Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. Last set, a bunch of children died. I couldn't save them. And Carla and Tyler had a fight. It was a bit, some bit of filler because I'm not really sure it, it progressed the story forward or even gave anything to their characters. But either way, we are now back with Carla and Tyler, and I'm guessing we're continuing with the investigation. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Uh... Several elements match the M.O. of a ritual killing, or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist, or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, the book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. Okay. Sorry, I saw something. Is this considered small spaces? It's definitely dark. Which, honestly, guys, get proper lighting down here. There should be a here. switch box around here. There we go. Oh, okay. Why is the light over there? <laughs> Press A and D key to alternate to make Carla breathe. Keep the pointer in the middle of the gauge to make Carla stay calm. Seriously? What? I'm so I'm confused. Out. I can't breathe. I gotta I'm get out of here. What? I tried to make... I'll come back later. I can't said... control my fear. Sorry, I was pressing A and D, yet it still kept going one way. So I'm kind of confused. I was assuming that... Okay, I don't know. I don't... Okay, so I'm not moving. Oh, I need to keep moving forward. I just move forward. What? What? 
Where am I going? That's my main problem right now. I'm trying to move her forward, but I don't know where I'm moving her forward to. Okay, so I can't exit out, so it's definitely pushing me this way. Oh, this is so dumb. Like, where am I going? I can't tell. Do I move? Do I go to this thing here? Oh, f there go. Really? That's not enough to... Do I also move that one? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. No, doesn't care about that one. Okay, so she can move forward. I don't know why I was getting stuck on something, I guess. Can't, can't move that. It kind of just looks like there's boxes in front of there. Here's the archive terminal. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten files should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay. So I thought when she said small spaces, I the thought the electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. Okay. Is the electricity back on? Do I need to use it? Like, what do you want from me? Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Okay. There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. Okay, it shows me the line, but now I can't even see... I mean, I'm gonna assume it's out back the way we came. Okay, seriously, what am I getting stuck on?
Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. stuck on something again okay here we go I think so far the only part I don't like about this section is the fact that I'm getting stuck on random things um, in terms of the point of view, it technically, even though I don't like it, it helps aid the, the claustrophobic feeling that they're going for. This is almost like a tunnel vision's happening. Hmm, nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. God, do more of this. That said, this section is way too long. <laughs> this is 1990, right? Oh, I need to use this, don't I? That said, you, you hear her doing the sound effects of the breathing, but it's not actually happening. Like, you don't see... She, the character the model himself... Okay. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Like the animation isn't there on the character herself. As she's like picking stuff up from the from the from the archive shelves and stuff like that. Hmm. Nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. They said 1990, right? God. <laughs> So long. Nineteen ninety. Maybe this side. Again. It's starting. My hands. They're shaking. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Can't let the fear get out of control. See, the claustrophobia wouldn't scare me. It's the uh, the darkness as that happens. I'm gonna assume, did it turn off again? I'm gonna assume it did. It looks like it's off. No? It didn't turn off? Oh, I just made that assumption. <laughs> okay, this is me needlessly backtracking. Can... I wanted to see if she could run, so I tried pressing shift, but that was a no-go. Step, one, two. Step, one, two. Step, one, two. Please tell me this is the right one. So we can get this done and over with. Hmm. Nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. At least you don't have to put the stuff back.
Oh, there's 1990 over here as well. Am I... Okay, that's no go. What? Can we... It's starting. My hands. Blah, blah, They're blah. Shaking. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm taking way too I'm long. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just Ooh. got... Stay calm. Sorry, I was not being Can't attention. let the fear get out of control. I was wondering, do I have to go on this side? Move everything back. Did I already do this one? I can't remember. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta breathe. <laughs> Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. I think I already did this one. Mm, nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. You know, whoever has to archive this must hate Carla right now because she takes all the tapes, but she's not playing them back. <laughs> okay. Oh, can this not... Okay. So maybe I... Go back. I'm waiting for the lights to turn off again. So I think... Oh my god. I need to move everything. Whoop. A bit too far. It's starting. My hands. They're shaking. I'm having trouble breathing. You're doing I've fine. Just got to stay calm. Can't let the fear get out of control. Okay. So with that, oh my god, I have to move everything back. Okay, so maybe now we can move this stuff. I should be able to move this now if I don't get stuck on something. Oh, wasn't about paying attention. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Okay. I feel so impatient right now. It's like, can we just come on? I really, I have, I have no recollection of this section of the game, to be honest. So this is a surprise for me. I think I found it. Oh, thank God. Finally. The file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell.
Carla asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office, and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Okay. Uh... That's a lot of names. Angeliers, Antar, Ballerin, Blanc, Boucher, Clement, Rigatola. I think these are, I'm assuming these are just names of the various people who worked in this game. Jeffrey, Griffith, Johnson and Mulder. Okay. I like how instantly his his section just gets You know, I wasn't aiming for that, but I'll take it. I still don't know what these cards are for. Okay. I think at this point Go talk to the guy first. See what he's got to say. And, uh. Also, if there's a radio, can I turn off that radio, please? Yo! <clears throat> Excuse me? Oh, oh, I am sorry to cause a wedding on you. Your presence here bring honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takeo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Uh. Well, I need some info on this book. I'm conducting a murder investigation and... You, immigration? You come like my press up? Old paper store family is legal. You verify it. No problem. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not here to bust you. If you no got warrant, you go now. This private property. Yeah, great strategy, Tyler. Nice work. Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books like this one before. Ah, many times, yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. Thanks anyway, at least I tried. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this guy. Oh, so if you start panicking that you're all your paperwork and you're illegal here, that's like, why don't you just, you might as well just tell them. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. Oh. One client order very rare book. Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book. And I tell you all you want to know. So, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? Okay. I feel like this is the, what, the second or third time they reference stuff about video games? You need to stop. <laughs> yes, we are in the video game. Okay, I saw... Uh... What?
Move the magnifying glass with the joystick or direction keys, okay? The joystick? Tempest. Okay. That doesn't even go. I was I was thought there was like maybe there's something on the corner, but I didn't see it. Also like why in the world Is this anything? Printed in Alabama. William Shakespeare the Tempest. Oh wait. Something here. To my brother for it's something handwritten in pencil here. To my brother for his 18th birthday, M.K. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything here. Tempest. Then we have bits of the play. Torn piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. It fell out of the book. It must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. This makes no sense. You technically could have done this stuff at the office. Cave. De Grutola. Okay. Oh wait. That thing we looked up above, De Grutola? Seventeen ninety six. Okay. And then down here, it, because it basically he gave us uh, it gave us the order of how we should be doing this. Seventeen ninety six. Okay, so seventeen ninety six. So that's third floor in the. Assuming it starts with... I'm going to assume... In the white section? Are we just looking at the name, or...? Oh no. That's not white. Turn around. Forget that space is to do a U-turn. <laughs> Sorry, let me have a look at this. I just saw the C A Idio de Grutola. Okay. So So either way if it starts with the Oh, sorry sir. Okay, so third floor. Um, assuming it starts with a D, unless it doesn't, then it's either going to be white or black. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Either way, let's head up to the. Th let's head up to the third floor. Second floor. Th 
Third floor. If the book you're looking for isn't here, then it doesn't exist. Thousands of old books. Okay. What? Oh my god, is this thing going to make me... I'm going to be very upset if it's going to make me... Find like the right shelf to pick up this book, and I have to go up and down these stairs. To <laughs> do you not have a magnifying glass on every single floor? Do you just pick? Did you pick any book from the? You can't even check it. Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? Okay. Can you tell me anything about the book? Yeah, it's a nice edition. Leather cover. Looks like one in the Shakespeare series published by Lamarck and Everett, 1884. Well, do you have clients who buy these kind of books? Hey, the book didn't come from here, if that's what you're thinking. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? What? That's it? Oh my goodness. I never know if it's like... <laughs> I never know if like if like something's gonna be the absolute end of the conversation. I don't know if we only have two questions and that's it. Uh, okay, I'm guessing we're done. I mean, I miffed about that, but okay. Okay, I think, uh, let's see, I might, I'm going to end the set here, but I don't know, problem is I think I need to be in the game in order for it to save. So here, we'll go with, we'll start with Lucas, and then I'll end the set there. Or maybe not, who knows. Either way. Okay, yes, thank you. I know this is a particular house you want me to go towards. Oh, it's zooming in on 36. Nothing to say? That's it. All right, so either way, I'm gonna end the set here. Um, at this point, I feel like I made a lot of different <laughs> mistakes that are gonna give me the a uh, uh, not so good ending in the game. Let's see. Couldn't save those children. I don't know if him being able to reconcile with his ex girlfriend or at least leave on a good note. Good note is affects the game or not. Whether or not you should kiss her or not. <laughs> like, I just don't know. Um, yeah. Either way, thank you for like if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!